The Bead Digger starting lineup is brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Proud to be the Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan with locations in Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Brush. They're available 24-7 for your banking needs. As they're uh, introducing the Brush players, uh, for Eaton, they're going to be starting, uh, let's see, two sophomores, two juniors, and one senior. So, uh, very, uh, very younger team, you know, much younger team. Uh, Eaton is coached by Dean Grable, who, uh, in his own right, was one heck of a player. And just remember watching him and his twin brother in high school at North Glen. And uh, one of the most hard-nosed players I had seen, him and his brother, were, were, were incredible on the court. Um, very hard-nosed, and that's kind of his coaching style. And so Eaton takes after, you know, any team's going to take after your coach. So we'll see, we'll see how Eaton comes out. Uh, for the Beat Diggers, they've got uh, Gunnar Guzman is going to have the opening tip, Ben Brown. Adrian Lopez, Ryan Dunker, and Jose Campa. The opening tip is brought to you by Buildings by Design. Buildings by Design has the experience to complete your project from start to finish. Get the quality you deserve in your building by starting your project right. Start by Buildings by Design. So on the opening tip, Brush wins the tip. Bring it down. They get really good ball movement, good ball control there. Over to Ryan Dunker on the right side wing, and that's good for three. 30 seconds into the game, Ryan Dunker with a three to start it. Eaton brings it down, double teamed on Inda. And Brush is going to force a turnover. Inda had nowhere to go. Um, Ryan Dunker is not a tall player, and I think Inda comes up to his chin. So it's pretty easy to get the trap there. Inda, the sophomore, is their leading scorer, averaging 9.8 a game. And Brush comes down, Adrian Lopez, the pass to Dunker, and goes off of his fingertips out of bounds. So two uh, quick turnovers by each team. And some Brush has got to try and avoid this game. Eaton brings it up. Get it over to Zeller in the, from the wing. And that is a three for Zeller from Eaton. So we're tied up 3-3, three to three, 6.55 to go here in the first. Adrian Lopez brings it down, kicks out to Dunker. Dunker in the lane, looking for something. Puts up a shot, doesn't go as tip. Eaton pushes it hard. Inda pulls up, 15-footer, doesn't go. Zeller with the rebound, put back, and that doesn't go. Campo with the rebound, and we got a we got a foul here on Zeller from Eaton, um, getting uh, Campo on the arm. So first team foul. Brush inbounds, Lopez bringing it up, guarded by Zeller. And kind of a Mitch mat match there. Zeller quite a bit bigger than uh, Lopez, and Lopez goes in the lane, is off. Eaton brings the ball down, Zeller, Zeller brings it down. He's a big kid, brings it down, gets called for the carry. So another turnover by Eaton. So Lopez to inbound. Full court pressure by Eaton here. It'd be better off just uh, clearing the lane and letting Lopez bring it up against Zeller. Lopez dribbles around up top. Trying to get something going offensively here. Nice roll. Pass into Gunnar Guzman with a nice bucket here. Gunnar Guzman with a big with a big roll off of that screen. So Brush takes a 5-3 lead here. 5.58 to go. And another turnover by Eaton, unforced, dribbles it out of bounds. So Lopez to, to uh, inbound again, full court pressure again, and uh, almost stolen. Ben Brown, nice pass to Dunker, Dunker to Campa, fumbles it around, his shot doesn't go. A rebound by Inda, Inda pushing up the court, loses control again, and Campa with it, picks it up, gets it to Lopez, Lopez down, kicks out from the lane to Dunker on the wing, that one is long, Lopez the rebound, dribbles it back up top to reset, Eaton playing man here, Campa has it on the baseline, looking for some double team, gets it to Ben Brown on the left wing, 
Brown dribbles up, finds, finds a lane, shot, scoop layup doesn't go with the pressure, and Eaton comes down with the rebound, Maldonado, and uh, let's see, that was Dalton Logan goes up for the shot, blocked by Jose Campa, Brooks bringing it down, gets it to Ben Brown in the corner for three, that doesn't go, rebound by Kessel, Pushes it down the floor, gets it to Dalton Logan for a little baseline jumper to tie the game up. 5-5, five to five, 5.44 to go here in the first. Lopez walks the ball up against Zeller. Kicks it out to Dunker on, or Dust Brown on the wing. And we've got a fight for the rebound. Lopez is going to be called for going over the back. So it's been fairly clean here for the first uh, almost three and a half minutes with only... Uh, Two fouls, one one on each team. So, the refs are uh, trying to regain some control and making some substitutions on both sides of the court. Armando Sacido and Eli Urich come into the game. For Brush, Eaton brings the ball up, gets over half court, dribble around up top by Heaton. Heaton to... Grable, this is uh, Dean's son, Coach's son as a freshman. He gets it stolen by Dunker. Dunker gets it to Armando Saucedo for the layup. That goes, and he is fouled, so he'll go to the line for one. Nice pass there by Dunker um, on the little two-on-one fast break they had. So Coach Grable uh, has his son in the freshman and has a turnover right when he comes in. Brush is playing with a purpose right now. They got a lot of energy, playing stingy defense. It's it's nice to see. I haven't really seen them play this way in, in quite a while, to be honest. Saucedo misses a free throw. Battle for the rebound. Goes out on a brush player, I believe Gunnar Guzman. So Eaton's going to inbound under their own, or going full court. Brush is picking up full court man. And Eaton breaks that pretty easily. And uh, we've got a travel here on Wall or Willitson. Eaton had some mass substitutions, trying to get some names going here. So turnover, for, another turnover for Eaton. And uh, Lopez is going to bring it up for Brush, getting pressured. Brings it across half court, drives in the lane, kicks out to Urich. Urich to Dunker in the corner, and that's good for two. So a nice pass there by Urich. Uh, Eden gets it down to Zeller. Zeller dribbles in the lane just to the free throw line. His pull up jumper is good. 9 to 7. Brush with a two point lead here. 3.35 to go in the first. Dunker gets it down to Saucedo. Saucedo goes baseline, puts up the shot, and he's going to be called for the charge here. Um, kid was set, and Armando's going to attack the basket, and he's going to play hard. So. Not going to fault him for, for a move like that. So Eden's ball, looking to get it in against Brush's full court pr uh, man. And it's more of a token type of press than it is anything else. Grable brings it down, dribbles in the lane, pull up jumper from 10, and that one goes for him. So 9 to 9, tie ball game here, 315. Donias brings it up for Brush, gives it to Sa Saucedo. At the wing, over to Dunker, and Dunker is going to be called for the charge. Um, kid was parked in front of him for quite a while, so it'd be a tough one to argue there. So two charges for Brush here on back-to-back -back possessions. So I'm give guys from Brush uh, all their starters are out, giving them a breather except for Gunnar Guzman. Heaton pushes the ball up the court quickly. And that's a three by Heaton for Eaton, giving Eaton the uh, three-point lead here. And let's see, Brush, Brush is bringing it up. It's hard to see with the student section standing who that was. That was on number 30. It's his okay. second. So Logan. That would be Logan's second. Um, for Eaton, 
Called with a push on, on the dribble up the sideline. Donia's with passing. The Yurik that gets knocked away. Heaton brings it down the court. Almost stolen. Now it is stolen by Donia's. Donia's pushing it up the court. Gets it to Martinez at the left wing. He's going to stop and pull up. That one's long. Dribble comes back to him. And Eaton comes up with the rebound. Nice hustle play by Martinez, and he's going to get a jump ball off of this uh, with his pressure on on uh, on Willitson with a uh, token press is all that they're doing, just just matching up with them. Not any real pressure or anything. So Eaton's ball, they're bringing it up. They get it to Heaton from the right, uh, left wing for three. That doesn't go. Rebound Martinez. Gets it to Lopez. Lopez dribbles down. Gets it out to Donia. Top of the key for two. He was standing on the line there. Now Martinez is going to get called for uh, for a blocking uh, foul here. This uh, Heaton for Eaton. Say that fast five times. Heaton for Eaton. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I don't know those whole voice things that John does, but I can't do them. <laughs> um, but he is quick. Not as quick as those kids from e- or, uh, Estes, but he pushes the ball. Shot goes up by Grable. That one's off. Martinez, another rebound. Top of the key. Gets to Lopez at the, at the right wing. Over to Armando Saucedo. He puts it on the floor. Free throw line. Kicks it out to Martinez. He travels. He made that call before the ref did. <laughs> So, be another turnover for Brush. Where are we sitting at turnover-wise? I know it's quite a few. Uh, Eaton has seven, and Brush has five. So, Eaton trying to get the ball inbounded. Lobs the pass in. And that goes to Maldonado. He pushes it up. And uh, they're going to get Saucedo for another foul. Uh, running beside him with and bodying him. He would have just kept his, his distance. Martinez is coming up for the trap. So Ben Brown's going to come in for... Uh, you got two people going out at the same time here. <laughs> yeah. Brush didn't know who was coming out. Martinez is Placido. So play continues. Eaton uh, brings it in. And Willitson... Goes up, loses it. Maldonado gets it back. He's in the corner, guarded by Donias. Brown is up on Heaton at the top. And a lot of pressure on the ball. Lopez goes on the floor for it. Donias comes up with it. Good steal there by Brush. Donias pushes up the court. Gets to Martinez, left wing. Lopez up top of the key. Dribbles in the lane. Kicks out to Donias. Donias to Martinez, top of the key. Over to Ben Brown, left, left wing. Couple dribbles by Brown, gets it to Martinez in the corner. He dribbles out, gets to Donia's up top of the key. Brush is working some nice, nice offense there. Just kept running through their through their play. And Maldonado's gonna get called for the foul here for Eaton as he uh, ran into Donia's. So Lopez the inbound. Gets to Martinez. We've got 35 seconds to go here in the first. Eaton with a one-point lead. Ben Brown dribbles in the lane, gets to uh, Lopez. Lopez dribbles in, and he's going to get called for the travel with a little couple hops. So Eaton's ball, they're going to have to bring a full court. And Brush still in the matchup. So some substitutions here by Eaton. So Grable to inbound for, for Eaton. Maldonado, pass to Maldonado is knocked away by Ben Brown. Brush is showing a lot of hustle here. Yeah, yeah. Might might be the most most hustle that they've shown this year. This is the games that I've seen. It's a pleasant surprise. Yes, it is. So Grable gets it into Maldonado. He dribbles upside. That's knocked out of bounds by Lopez. So B. Eaton's ball right in front of the brush bench. Grable to inbound, guarded by Brown, by Ben Brown. Gets it to Heaton, guarded by Donias. So Heaton's going to play for the last shot of the quarter here. 
They're just passing back and forth to half court. Get to Maldonado at the free throw line. Gives out to Zeller at the corner. Gets it out to Heaton for three at the wing. Doesn't go. Saved by Maldonado. And Eaton does not get the uh, the shot off. So at the end of one with your score, Brush B Diggers 11, Eaton Reds 12. You're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Western Engineering Consultants, which provides civil engineering services for aviation, municipal, commercial, and residential clients located in Colorado. Western Engineering is invested and involved in the communities they work in. They want to wish you good luck to all the athletes as they compete this year. So to start the second second quarter off, brush dribbles around. Adrian Lopez up top, deep three, and that goes. Eaton pushes the ball back down. Gray both the shot, goes off the backboard high. Ben Brown brings it down for brush. Kicks across court to Campa, cutting down the lane. And nice pat, nice catch and, and layup there by Campa. And that's... That puts Brush in the lead by four here coming out. Um, five quick points. And Ben Brown is going to be called for the foul here. It's a hand check. So, got fast and furious. But that pass for that Campa caught was going to the to whoever was in the corner. And he snagged it. He wanted the bucket. Give me those. So, Heaton has the ball top for Eaton. Pressured. Brush is in a 1-2-2 two, two here. Zeller has it on the wing. His three doesn't go. Campa with the rebound. His pass to Dunker gets tipped. And Maldonado saves it. And Dunker had an opportunity to get it. goes off his hand. So Eaton will have the ball right in front of the brush, brush bench. Brush bench and Heaton from Eaton. That's a... <laughs> so Grable to inbound. Gets it to Heaton up top. Over to end a couple dribbles guarded by Ben Brown. He's going to bring him back in and out. Gets it to Heaton. Brush has to recover. Zeller has it on the wing. Dribbles baseline. Goes up with it. Doesn't go. Campa with the rebound. Gets it out to Dunker. Dunker going up the left side. Nice pass into Gunnar Guzman for two. Great court awareness there by, by Ryan Dunker. Heaton pushes the ball up. Gets it to Grable in the corner. He looks at the three, doesn't go. Dribbles baseline, doesn't go there. Zeller is uh, goes up for the rebound, and he's going to be fouled by Dunker on the rebound. So we are at seven fouls for Brush, so we are in the one and one Second foul on Dunker. So Dunker's smart enough to... To play with two fouls here. So Zeller's first free throw hits the front of the rim, rebounded by Lopez. Oh, cross court to Dunker. He he gets a lot of contact, doesn't get called. Shot goes off the rim. Push it ahead to Grable. Grable has it to Maldonado, and he travels with it inside the key. So another turnover for Eaton. So Turnovers is a big issue uh, here for both these teams. But Brush has to keep this momentum that they started the second quarter with. And Lopez brings it down top of the key. Brown on the left wing dribbles up top to Dunker on the right wing. He's looking for someone to pass to. Camp has the ball at the elbow. Shot goes up. That's off. Rebounded by Zeller. Zeller crossover on Brown. And Brush is doing a pretty good job of getting the ball slowed down on, in the transition here. Heaton for three from the from the corner. That doesn't go. Rebounded by Dunker. Pushed up the right side. His camp at cutting down the middle. He gets it over to Guzman. And Guzman is fouled hard on the uh, shot. He's going to go to the line for two. So his score 18 to 12. 546 to go here in the second. Gunnar Guzman's at the line to shoot two. Cargill Meat Solutions. Cargill is committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and continuously improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at www.cargill.com. So Gunner misses the first. The second's on its way, and that one's good. Giving Brush a seven-point lead here. Eaton brings it up. 
Kinda has it over to Grable. They've got a very young lineup in, extremely young. And they're working the ball up top. Get it over to Inda for three from the left wing. That one's short, rebounded by Ben Brown. He's going to bring it up, getting some pressure at half court. Gives Camp at the, at the right wing, up top to Lopez. Lopez, a couple dribbles into the lane. He's got a floater, and that one goes. This is a nice run here by Brush. They're on a 10-0 uh, run to start the second quarter. Eaton pushes the ball up, gets it to Inda. Inda dribbles in the lane, doesn't go. And great, great, great hustle here. That doesn't go. Rebound is fought. Bounces high, almost going out of bounds. Ryan Dunker saves it, but then uh, goes back out of bounds. It'll be Eaton's ball. But great hustle here by the beat diggers. And the hustle showing in the scoring. Yep. E leads to easy points. Easy points and good defense, and it's a 10 0 run. So Eaton inbound, gets it, they get it into Logan. Logan has it go off his hands. Pass goes ahead to Dunker. Fast break, and that one goes. 23 to 12, 447 to go in the second. Full court pressure here by Brush. Into breaks that. Dribbles top of the key. And he's at the free throw line. Get it into Logan. Logan has a strip by Dunker. And Dunk, that pass is stolen by Anderson. He kicks it ahead to uh, Logan. Logan gets the easy two. Breaking that string for Brush here. So a 12-2 run. Armando Saucedo in the game. Had a pass to Gunnar Guzman. Put it right on top of his shoe. And that one goes out of bounds. That's what happens when you have big feet. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm waiting for Matthew to break out the Horace Grant reference here. <laughs> so, ball's pushed up by Enda from Eaton. His layup doesn't go. Gunnar Guzman gets the rebound and is tied up by Enda. It'll be Eaton's ball on the possession arrow. Urich comes in for Campo, who had a great couple minutes to start the second quarter here. So Anderson inbound for Eaton under their own basket. Pass goes up high to Grable. He's at the top of the key, guarded by Saucedo. Gets to the free throw line, leaves it for Willison. And that, that was blocked by Armando, and that goes out of bounds. Looks great when you block it like that, but try and keep it in bounds yep. and keep possession yep. of it. So Anderson the inbound from in front of the brush bench. And he gets it in. Shot goes up by Scott. That doesn't go. And Gunnar Guzman is call for the foul on Kessel. And boy, they gave him continuation on that one. He was bent over when he came down on top of him and made the basket. So he's going to go to the line for one. I'm not sure I agree with the uh, shooting foul there. Kessel's free throws off. Gunnar Guzman the rebound. Gets it to Martinez. Martinez pushes it up. Doesn't have anything yet. Picks up his dribble. Gets it to Dunker, top of the key. Dunker over to Saucedo for three from the left wing. And that one goes for three. Good ball movement here by Brush. And uh, Grable brings it down full court against the press. Gunnar Guzman is back. And with the line of sight where we're at, he was halfway to the ground before before Grable even got in the key to make contact with him. So he gets called for the foul. The bucket goes, and he's going to shoot one. But you can't fake the charge. I've tried that. So a free throw goes off. Rebounded by Anderson. Kicks it back out. Grable dribbles in the lane again. And he travels with it. And I know one boy, his dad is not happy either. I know one person that can fake a, a charge. His name's Marcus Smart. <laughs> Talk about a flopper. We can go Ginobili. We can go a lot here. <laughs> so a brush of ball. He's got Dunker on the wing. Dribbles baseline. Has some contact. Puts it up. Doesn't go. Martinez gets a rebound. Gets a Dunker underneath. 
That shot doesn't go. Urich is there. His putback doesn't go either. And we've got a foul called. Looks like on Martinez. Yeah, that'd be Martinez. Going to send uh, Willitson to the line to shoot two. Brushes at 10 team fouls. And Eaton is uh, only at five. So with three minutes to go, he scores 26, 18, brushing the lead. Willitson on, makes his first. Ehrlich Toyota East, whether you're in, in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, Ehrlich Toyota East and Fort Morgan will fit you into the car or truck of your choice, serving all of your northeast Colorado, Ehrlich Toyota East. So Willitson ends up making both of them. So 26-20 lead, and Saucedo loses it trying to go between his legs. And another unforced turnover. Brush now with just a six-point lead. And they got to ramp up to what they were doing to start the quarter with. 2.50 to go here. Eaton's ball. Grable has it up top. And Brush is, uh, kind of has a matchup zone going. Anderson cuts in, they get him the pass, and he gets the easy bucket there. Eaton falls back into a, a man defense. Dunker has it up top. Guarded by Scott. Scott gets it, or Dunker gets it out to Saucedo. His shot from the baseline doesn't go. You know, we're going to have a foul here on Ben Brown. So that will send... Um, Grable to the line for another two. Yeah, that's Brown second. So Brush is, uh, is going to have some foul situation problems to uh, continue with the rest of the game here if it continues like this. So Grable's first goes. 2.24 to go here in the second. 26 23. Brush in the lead. Grable to shoot his second. And that one goes. So two-point game. Lopez brings it up. Getting pressure by Grable. He gets it over to Martinez on the right wing. Up to Lopez up top. Lopez pulls back. Gets Saucedo in the corner. His three doesn't go. Rebounded by Zeller. Zeller long pass down to Willitson. Willison gets it to Anderson, and that's blocked by Urich. It was a good block there. It was one on one under the basket, and he knocks that one out of bounds. Eaton will maintain possession under their own basket. Anderson to inbound. Gets it to Scott. Scott's going to be called for a travel. Well, I don't know if I've seen this many travels in a game, yeah. especially at the varsity level. So Lopez brings it up, walking up the court. Grable's waiting for him at half court. Crosses over. Nice pick by Urich. Kicks out to Donez for three. That doesn't go. Zeller the rebound. He's pushing it up himself up the court. Gets guarded by Donez. Lopez knocks that, that one away. Gets it to Martinez. Martinez comes up for the layup, and he's fouled hard by Zeller. Zeller comes over to make sure he's all right. And Martinez is going to go to the line for two here. Some nice passing to get into the, mm -hmm. the fast break here. Yeah, they've been a little bit more crisper with their passes. Not much more, but. So Martinez with his first, and that one goes. Kind of breaks the scoring drought the brush has had here for a couple minutes. Not getting a, uh, a point up. So Martinez to shoot his second. 135 to go here in the second. Brush holding on to a three-point lead. And that one goes. So Brush extends it back to four. A couple substitutions here for Eaton. One thing is, if you match up full court man, you better make sure that everyone's covered. Mm -hmm. See Anderson left alone. Well, there's two guys on the baseline. It's a good thing they stopped it here. Slowed the ball up. So, brush trapping, flying all over. Eaton 
Willitson gets it in the paint, kicks it out to Grable. Grable dribbles baseline to Willitson. His layup doesn't go. Rebounded by Donez, and he's going to be fouled by Logan. Not a good foul by uh, Logan for Meaton when you're uh, 86 feet away from your own basket. So that is a seventh team foul for Eaton. So Donia's will go to the line, shoot him one and one. One thirteen to go here in the first half. So if Donia's can extend this up, he misses the first. Anderson the rebound from Eaton. Gets it over to Heaton. Heaton pushes the ball. Tries to pass into Logan in the lane. That's uh, stolen by Martinez. Gets it to Dunker up to Lopez, right wing. Lopez is going to shoot the three, and that one goes. Nice three by Adrian Lopez. 54 seconds to go. Brushed in the lead by seven now. So it would be a good way to finish out the half and have it. There's a steal by Martinez. Gets Saucedo. Saucedo gets his layup blocked, and they're going to call a foul on that one. Saucedo's going to go to the line here for two. That looked pretty clean, yeah, but... Yeah. We'll take it, but... But we aren't going to be homers. <laughs> so, Saucedo's going to go to the line. So, if Brush can finish off the quarter the way they started it, they're going to be in great shape here. So, Saucedo shoot his first. And that one goes. 32-24. Beat Diggers lead. Ingmar Phillips Insurance looking to find insurance for your co- car, home, or even for you. Call Ingmar Phillips Insurance with two locations in Brush and Fort Morgan. They can help you with your home, car, health, or life insurance questions or provide a quote. Saucedo missed the first. Pass goes out to Adrian Lopez for another three to finish the second quarter. Great ball movement there by Brush. A couple passes after the rebound. Lopez for from about 22 feet hits the three. So ball was knocked out on the press. Eaton maintains the ball. Hinda brings it up against Martinez. Brush looking to trap. Fall back into the zone. They're more of a, a man now. So Inda dribbles into the lane, kicks it over Logan. Logan baseline jumper and that one goes. Nice little turnaround jumper on the baseline. Donius has it, six seconds to go, almost backcourt violation. Dunker has it, loses it. Lopez throws it up at the buzzer, and that does not go. So at halftime, with your score, the Brush Speed Diggers 35, Eaton Reds 26. You're listening to 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Bank of Colorado is a proud supporter of local sports and academics. There's only one Colorado and one bank dedicated to help you make the most of your living here. They're not just a bank in Colorado. They're Bank of Colorado, member FDIC. Welcome back to the start of the second half. Brush will have possession off of the uh, to start the second half. And heavy pressure here by Eaton. Kind of expected that to start. And uh, Lopez to throw it in. First attempt went out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Eaton. Brush gets it in to Ben Brown. He dribbles up top, guard, guard, bark, guarded by Grable. Brown dribbles around, gets it to Guzman in the corner. He kicks it back out to Brown. Brown dribbles up top, looking to get something going. Lopez dribbles in the key, kicks out to Dunker, left, left side for three, and that one goes. Great start to the half. Eaton pushing the ball up by Enda. Slowed down by Dunker, guarded by Lopez, dribbles in the key, 15-footer, doesn't go. Guzman the rebound, gets it to Dunker. Dunker being guarded by Maldonado. And gets crossed over pretty good. Lopez has it, gets it to Brown in the corner. Back to Lopez, that one's stolen by Maldonado. He gets it to Grable on the wing. Grable goes up, has a block by Lopez. And uh, he's going to go to the line for two. A lot of ball on that block. I'm sorry, on that foul. Could be in a homer, okay? I'm a homer. So, great ball at the line. Shoot his first. And that one does not go. Brush with the 12-point lead. A minute in the second quarter here. Or second half. 
So Grable for a second. And that one rims out. Logan's there for the rebound and put back. So Brush now with a 10-point lead. Dunker gets it into Guzman. Guzman tries to get it to Lopez. Stolen. Guzman gets it back. Dunker has it. Trying to break the press here. Gets it up to Ed Brown. Brown gets it to Dunker. Back to Brown. A hand off to Lopez. Top of the key. Brush trying to get settled here because the pressure is getting to him here a little bit. Dunker from the left wing again for three. And that one does not go. Rebound into. And Brush has got to get back here on defense. Zeller has it at the wing. Dribbles in at the post. Travels with it. Doesn't go. Dunker comes up with the rebound. Pushes it one on three. And he goes in. And he's going to get called or get fouled by Logan. Dunker is going to go the line here for two. So I had one of the refs talking to Logan, trying to get things calmed down. He put a little extra on that block. So Dunker's first shot goes. 11 point lead for Brush here. 6 18 to go in the third. Dunker for the second, and that one's good too. 40 28, 6 18. Maldonado brings it up for Eaton. Pressure by Brown. Gets by Brown. Dribbles in the key. Picks it out to Zeller. Zeller top of the key for three. That doesn't go. Rebound Guzman. And he's got guys hanging on him. No call. Gets over to Dunker. Dunker long pass to Lopez. Lopez. Lopez uh, got need. Went down. And made the pass. And they called him for the travel. Can't be a homer, so I'm just not going <laughs> to. Can't have dead air, so I can't not just sit here. So, so Eaton's ball. Grable throws it in. That's. Is that Lopez's third? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Grable brings it up for Eaton. Top of the key. Guarded by Lopez. Nice jump. Jump stop there. And shot doesn't go. Gets his own rebound. Gets it to Maldonado. He gets the easy basket underneath 10 point lead for brush 530 to go here in the third lopez being pressured and loses it gets it back gets it to brown up top of the key gets it over to dunker dunker goes in the lane and uh is fouled with on a shot from the elbow there so he'll go to the line shoot another two starting to get a little more physical here yeah well a little faster a little bit more physical so Dunker to shoot his first. And hits a lot of rim, but goes. Had a little shooter's touch on that. Heaton comes in for Maldonado. Dunker to shoot his second. 5.22 to go. That one is off. 11 point lead for Brush. Rebounded by Grable. He pushes up the court. Guarded by Lopez. Gets a Zeller in the corner. For three, that one doesn't go. Dunker the rebound. And dribbles it up, buying the back pass to Lopez. Lopez brings it up the center court. Gets it to Dunker, top of the key for three, and that one is good. 44-30, brushing the lead. 5.45 to go here. 5.55. Grable has it on the wing, double team. Heaton gets it, dribbles in the lane, kicks it to Logan. Logan to end into his shot is short. Logan gets the rebound, kicks it out to Heaton. Heaton for three from the right wing. That one's long. Rebound Ben Brown. Brown ahead to Dunker. Dunker one on one. And he gets the easy bucket there in transition. Heaton gets it in quickly to Grable. He's up the court quick, dribbles in the lane. Spin move. Doesn't go. Blocked by Gunnar Guzman. Lopez brings it down. He's got three on one. He's going to take it himself. Doesn't go. Off two brush players, and the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, blew an opportunity there. Premier Farm Credit has been uh, proudly supporting agriculture and rural communities for over 100 years in their cash patronage. Dividend program sets them apart from their competition. Locations in Sterling, Fort Morgan, Yuma, and Holyoke. So Eden's bringing the ball up. Inda brings it up for them, top of the key. Gives it hands off to Heaton. Heaton over to Zeller. 
Zeller goes baseline with it. He gets blocked from behind by Campa. Anytime you go for a block shot from behind, you are going to get called for it. Doesn't matter if you had all ball, it's the perception of it. So Zeller's going to go the line for two. And that is Campa's first. Brush has handled the pressure decently. I'd, I'd like to see a little, little bit more control and stuff, but uh, physically they, they've haven't been shy to, to match the physicality of Eaton starting off as well. So right, it's good right. to see. Yeah, it's, it's one thing when you start getting pressure like, like what Eaton's been putting on them that you don't back down from it, but you also maintain the control. And they have so far uh, first four minutes of the, the third quarter. So Zeller makes the second. They come out full court press and thrown away by Gunnar Guzman. Zeller has it, goes back in the lane. That shot is blocked good by Guzman and pass is thrown away in transition. Eaton back quickly to end in the corner, into shot short. Heaton the rebound and that putback is good. 46-34, 3.40 to go. What Brush needs to do is just clear out and let Armando bring the ball up. But they've been a little, little lazy with it. So Coach Whipple calls the timeout. We're going to keep it here. This brush timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. When you're looking for someone to walk you through the insurance world, turn to the office of Greg Mullen in Brush. Home, auto, life, health, State Farm Insurance is here for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call today, 842-4555. So Coach Whipple calls that timeout because they're close to getting a 10-second violation in the backcourt. With, with, with the press that, that Eaton has, it's just a matchup man press and brushes, uh, takes one dribble and looks to pass it. Against this type of press, you get in your best ball handler's hand, everyone else clears out and he brings it up one on one. And uh, hopefully that's what Coach Whipple is, is telling him to do is to uh, get it to, uh, to one of the guards and uh, let them just bring it up. So Saucedo inbounds to Martinez. Martinez takes a full court for the layup. Nice long court pass there. Eaton brings it down, pushes it back just as fast. Willardson goes up. He gets fouled and the bucket. And that foul is going to be Bryson Woolridge, who just came in the game. Um, hasn't had much varsity experience. He definitely can, uh, we'll, we'll put it up from the three. But he picks up his first, sends Willitson to the line. That shot didn't hit anything. So Brush will have the ball underneath, coming full court. So this pace, they're trying to get as many players in as they can just to keep them fresh. So Brush, long court pass to Gunnar Guzman. And he has the layup that goes off the rim and Willitson gets the rebound goes off his foot out of bounds so Brush will have the ball right in front of their own bench that was a, a Peyton Manning kind of that throw was, right that was there. a Peyton pass <laughs> a little wobbly but it still made it Saucedo to inbound he's up top to Martinez so Brush has Urich and Guzman in the game as their bigs Woolrich has it up top Gets to Saucedo at the wing. Gets it inside to Urick. Urick, pump fake it. Gets out to Woolridge. Over to Martinez. Back to Urick. He's on the block. Takes the 13 footer off the glass and it goes. 50 36, 250 to go here in the third. Enda brings it up for Eaton. Guarded by Saucedo. Gets it to Scott. Scott goes over to Heaton. Gets it over to Willitson. Gets a screen from Anderson. That doesn't do anything. Inda has it at the wing. Hands off to Scott. Scott dribbles in the lane. Floater doesn't go. Gunnar Guzman the rebound. Gets to Saucedo. Saucedo brings it up. Gets to Martinez on the wing. Guzman with the baseline jumper. And that one goes. Rolled around the rim about six times. Inda brings it up for Eaton. Started by Saucedo, has it poked away, gets it back, gets it over to Scott. Scott dribbles in the lane, gets it out to Heaton for three from the corner, and that's good for three. 
52-36, 1.55 to go. Long pass again to Gunnar Guzman. He's going to hold it up. No, he gets it to Woolridge. Woolridge with the layup doesn't go. Willits in the rebound, pushes it. Eaton's got numbers. Get it to end in the on the baseline. And he hits his first shot. Leading scorer for Eaton gets his first bucket there. So they keep the press on, get it to Saucedo. He kicks it over and throws it away. Had Martinez coming. Armando's got to keep the ball and just bring it up himself. He's got good enough ball handling skills. He can just do that. It's got to be confidence in your in yourself when there's pressure like that. Another unforced turnover. 127 to go. Rush maintains an 11-point lead. And delayed call on Armando Saucedo for the reach. So that's going to be uh, the fourth team foul for the half. And Eaton's got two, so... We're a ways away from a bonus yet, so 124 to go here in the fir- in the third quarter. That's Armando's third. Gunnar Guzman gets a break. He's been been playing hard this so far this half. So a steal by Martinez on the inbound. Gets ahead to Ben Brown. He gets the easy layup. Eaton pushing the pressure, pushing it against Brush's pressure here. Scott takes it in baseline jumper. And I'm not sure who's getting called. Scott's going to go to the line. Shoot two. Fouled on Ryan Dunker. So that'll be his third. Northeastern for a college that will equip you to go anywhere. Look no further than Northeastern. For more information, go to www.njc.edu. So Scott hits the first with 107 to go here in the third. They're going to bring Dunker out with his third foul. Yeah, Scott misses the second. Rebound, Urich. Head to Ben Brown. He's got numbers. Donia is ahead of him. Nice layup there by Donia. 55 seconds to go. Brush with a 14 point lead here. Nice pressure being applied by Lopez. Scott has the ball in the wing. Nowhere really to go with it. Gets up top to Heaton. They pull it out to set up their offense. 41 seconds to go. And Heaton's just holding it over to Enda. So, get it in. Scott Heaton for three from the wing. That doesn't go. And uh, the rebound goes out of bounds. He brushes ball. With 25.9 seconds, Eaton's going to bring their starters back in. And Brush maintains a 14-point lead. Lopez to inbound. Nice pass to Brown, full court. He's going to pull it back. Trying to find someone. Lopez cutting. Oh, tries a no-look pass to Urich. And Lopez is going to get called, called for the offensive foul. A charge there. Um... Wasn't really sure what he was going to do out of control. So they called a player control, but that was a player out of control. Ten seconds to go here in the third quarter. Eaton's ball. Zeller from the corner for three. That doesn't go. Scott the rebound. And put back. That doesn't go. Martinez the rebound for Brush. Dribbles it up. And puts up a three-quarter court shot that hits the backboard. So with your... Score at the end of the third quarter, Brush 56, Eaton Reds 42. You're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Bailey Mechanical Heating and Air Conditioning in Sterling is a company that offers a 100% satis- satisfaction guarantee. Call them for all your heating and air conditioning at 521-7272. Bailey Mechanical supports all the area athletes. So as we start the fourth quarter here, uh, Eaton's ball off the possession arrow, and they work it around and get it over to Grable, and he double dribbles with it. So another turnover to start the quarter for them. They're applying pressure again. Ben Brown brings it up for Brush, and he hands off to Lopez right at half court. Gets Donia's the wing, Ben Brown in the corner. Gets a tip. Martinez grabs a hold of it. Screen by Yurik. 
Gets to Brown on the wing. Dribbles in the lane. Ball gets poked away. Maldonado has it. Looking for numbers. Doesn't have it. Kicks it back out to Scott for three. And that one goes in and out. Lopez is in on the rebound. Doesn't go. Doesn't get it. Heaton gets it. And dribbles in and gets the easy uh, left-hand layup here. So, pressure applied again by Eaton. Lopez has it. The rest of the players just for brushes run down the court, get set up. Lopez inside, kicks it out to Martinez. Martinez over to Donez. Donez dribbles up half court. Martinez at the wing. Dribbles back up top. Gets to Ben Brown up top. Kicks it out to Lopez at the wing. Brush can be as patient as they want to be with the 12-point lead. Donez for three from the wing. That doesn't go. Yurik the rebound. Gets it to Donez. Cutting. He gets fouled by Zeller, and he's going to go to the line for two. So for Brush, if they want to stand out and they're not going to come and guard you, don't force it. Run as much time off the clock with, with a 12-point lead as you can. That's nine thing about high school. No, no shot clock. Yep. So Donez hits his first. We're 6.23 to go in the game. 57-44 Brush. Yeah, shot clock p- plays a big difference. If you don't have it, take advantage of it. So Donia is getting ready to shoot a second. That was a foul on Zeller. That was his third. He hits the second, putting Brush up by 14 again. Maldonado brings it up, guarded by Ben Brown. Gets by Brown. Donia comes over to help. Get it out to Zeller in the corner. And he dribbles baseline, has his pass stolen by Martinez. Martinez brings it up. Not much pressure. Ben Brown has it on the wing, guarded by Zeller. Kicks it to Lopez. Lopez, nice crossover. He's going to take it in. He's going to get called. He's going to get called for the charge. Second one this quarter. Is that Lopez is fourth? That is his fourth. So that is also the seventh team foul, but as a player controls, so they aren't going to shoot it. Um, but next foul from here on out, Eaton's in the bonus. So Maldonado loses the handle, stolen by Martinez. He pushes it up. Double team. Dunker has it up top, top or half court. Dribbles down to the free throw line, gets it to Urick from about 13 feet. Nice little baby hook. And yeah, that puts Brush up by 16. Boy, Brush is all over the ball with Maldonado dribbling it. Ben Brown goes up for the layup, and that one goes. Nice run. Brush has just got to keep this going. Zeller brings down full court, and they're going to call uh, Urick on the block on the drive here by Zeller. Here it kind of moved right into him, right, right in the lane, and you know, instead of taking the charge, ended up committing the foul. That's only his first, eighth team foul. So Zeller's going to go to the line, apparently to shoot two. I really need to work on this continuation <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Difference between high school and the NBA. That or the rest need to check up on the rules a little bit more. Zeller hits the first. Second one is short. It's the front of the rim. Comes down to Martinez. He brings it up, being guarded by Grable. And dribbles in the lane. Donez cutting up the left side. He gets the easy layup there against Zeller. Zeller's got three fouls. Has to play it safe. Scott brings it up for Eaton. Gets it over to Enda from the left wing. That shot doesn't go. Two Eaton players go up, run into each other. And I'm not sure how that worked on against Ryan Dunker. Uh, two players from Eaton run into each other, and he just happened to be standing there. And uh, gets called for that one. That is a big foul. That is his fourth. That is Ryan's fourth. So 4.45 to go here in the, in, um, in the game. Brush leads 64-45. And we've got Kessler, Kessel at the line. Zeller gets the rebound. He goes up with it. His shot is blocked by Martinez. Eaton saves it, goes in. 
And uh, wow. Um, they're going to call a foul here. Looks like on Martinez. Central Auto Parts, you need your vehicle and farm equipment to be t- in top shape, so you make sure to take care of them by purchasing the best quality parts at great prices at your local Napa store, Central Auto Parts, in Fort Morgan. So Zeller makes the first free throw. Pretty sure that foul is on Martinez. Zeller shoots the second, makes that one. Guzman the inbound gets to Ben Brown. Has everyone else clear out? He's guarded by Zeller, who's waiting for him at the free throw line on the other end. Duncan's got the ball, guarded by Enda. Loses it, gets it out to Donez. Donez kicks out to Ben Brown from the corner. That one's going to be off. Rebound, Gunnar Guzman. And they're going to call Scott on the foul on the reach in. So it'll be Brush's ball underneath. That's only uh, the fourth team foul for uh, Eaton. So Saucedo to inbound. 4.18 to go. Brush with a 17 point lead. Dunker gets it in to Guzman. Guzman gets the, the turnaround on the baseline. That goes 66 47. B Diggers in the lead. And we're at the four-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Saucedo gets the steal on Scott as he's going for a layup. And uh, he's going to go up, go to the line for two. This will be Scott's fourth. And uh, they're, they're just going to leave it as a regular foul. Didn't know if they were going to call it intentional on that one or not. But it did look that way. So Armando to the line to shoot two. First one goes in and out. Willard comes in for Scott. So Armando to shoot second. And that one's good. That brings the score 67-47, 3.59 to go here in the fourth. In the brings it up, dribbles through traffic, gets it to Grable in the corner. Grable dribbles up to the wing, guarded by Brown. And he's dribbling through everybody. And finally gets it to Zeller in the corner. He dribbles baseline, kicks it back out to Willard. Willard, Willard goes up, floater doesn't go, but Inda has, gets the rebound put back. So Brush puts it up. Brush <laughs> pushes the ball up and has it stolen. Um, Saucedo with another unforced turnover. End is light is getting hot now. He uh, he gets another easy basket there off the baseline. He's guarding Dunker full court, and uh, he gets called for the foul on Dunker trying to uh, to body him up coming full court here. So just a six-team foul, so we're not shooting yet. So Saucedo to inbound. He gets it in the dunker. Dunker cross-court pass to Donez for three. Wide open. Doesn't hit anything. Ball's loose from Campus underneath the basket with the putback. Nice, easy basket. That's just being in the right place at the right time for Tampa. Eaton pushes it down. Brush with the 18-point lead here. 2.45 to go in the game. And I think that's going to be his fifth. So they're going to call Dunker with the reach here. With 2.43 to go in the game. Dunker is going to foul out. So, 18 point lead for Brush. Logan at the line for Eaton. Shooting two. Misses the first. So, Brush has to be careful because they've got Lopez also with four. And Saucedo's pretty close too. 
Campa gets the rebound off the second miss from Logan. Saucedo brings it up. It's across half court over to Donez. Top of the key, back to Saucedo, left wing. <laughs> dribbles up, gets to Martinez. He dribbles over the left wing. And dribbles in the lane, and they're going to get a foul here. And it looks like on Inda, his second. So that's going to send uh, Martinez to the line for a one and one on his drive to the basket. Pete's Farmers Cooperative, see them in all your propane, fuel, and farm needs. They've been in business since 1915 and are still the small town company that cares about each of their customers. So Martinez misses his free throw. Eaton gets the rebound, brings it down. Grable gets it to Zeller in the corner for three. That one's short. Guzman with the rebound. Out to Saucedo. He crosses half court. He has it at the wing. Cross court pass to Martinez. Top of the key. He brings it back out. And they regroup, set up. Camp has a free throw line at the elbow. He's going to take that shot. Shot short. Zeller gets the rebound for Eaton. Pushes the ball up the court. He goes behind his back. Kicks out to Grable for three. Grable hits that one. And Eaton takes time out. We're going to keep it here. With a score of 69-54 with a minute 38 to go here in the, in the game. Fresh grocery cart, groceries, fresh cut meat and deli items, floral, pharmacy, Western Union, and public services payments, and 24-hour gas. Brush Grocery Cart is your one-stop shop, 1302 West Edison Street in Brush. So with 138 to go in the game, Brush maintains a 15-point lead. Um, it's, and it, it's really nice to see Brush uh, the second half really continuously playing with energy. They, they haven't really slacked off, and it, they still got that high defense, which is getting them some easy points, and it's just... It's nice to see, as that didn't happen at Estes Park. So. No, it did not. And uh, we got uh, some players in here for Brush. I'm not sure about. Um, but with a minute 30 to go, Brush the ball. Saucedo gets it in the lane, gets it to Gunnar Guzman. Guzman with the baseline jumper. He's found his spot. He hit the last two right there. Eden brings it up, gets it to Grable at the wing. So, minute 15, 16 point lead, or 17 point lead for Brush. They get to Zeller in the in the corner. He goes baseline. Out to Willard. To Willard. Willard doesn't get it. Campa the rebound. He gets to Saucedo. Over to Martinez. He loses it. Inda gets it. Left hand layup is good. 54 seconds to go. Eaton calls another quick timeout here. So, 15-point game, 54 seconds. It's a teaching moment for Coach Grable. It's also a teaching moment for, for Coach Whipple. You gotta, you gotta, you know, they're gonna come out trying to do whatever they can to get the ball, ball protection here. And uh, you have to, to uh, just keep keep going and, and uh, make sure you're controlling the ball Brock Osweiler, ball control, is job control or whatever, <laughs> job security. You know, they have to take, take uh, Brock Osweiler's advice. Or ball security is job security, I think is what he said. So, these guys aren't making that kind of money, but <laughs> still want to be able to play. So, Eaton comes out, gets a really quick foul on uh, Martinez. Foul's going to be on Heaton. So that's going to send uh, Martinez to the line to shoot a one and one, eight team foul on Eaton. So a couple more before we have uh, two shots, an automatic two shots. So Martinez the first. And that one doesn't go. Zeller the rebound gets it out to Enda. Enda pushes it up ahead to Grable. Grable back to Enda. Enda gets a screen from uh, Zeller. And his shot from the top of the key goes. You can see how he can be the leading scorer. Um, quick release. Quick release. Really nice. It's really hard to guard a player with a quick uh, with a release like that. So it's 71-59, 39.6 to go here in the game. So 
You can't get lax. Um, it's not over yet. And you know you're going to get fouled. This is where not having Dunker in the game is going to hurt you. Yeah. When it comes down to a free throw contest, you can rely on him. And uh, you just you, you know you just hope that the rest of them can be on. So so it'll be brushes ball under the under, under Eaton's basket. So I'll have to take a full court. High Plains Bank. High Plains Bank offers a wide variety of products that can be customized to fit your individual needs. See what over a century of customer service can do for you at High Plains Bank in Wiggins. So Brush has Sacido, Guzman, Donez, Lopez, and Martinez on the court. A lot of ball handlers. And uh, the exception of Guzman, they're all guards. And another quick foul. Over two seconds off the clock there. So that foul is on Heat in just a second. So Eden's doing the uh, sub game too with Zeller. Zeller's a big kid and uh, has some offensive game, but being a big kid like that, you're a liability defensively. So they sub him, they're subbing him in and out. Martinez is aligned for the first, and that hits the back of the rim, goes out in there, the rebound. He pushes the ball up the court, get it out to Grable in the corner for three. That one's off, rebound Saucedo. First thing he does is put it on the floor, and Grable gets the rebound. He gets fouled and the bucket. Wow, that's that's NBA continuation right there. Also, that um, that's one thing you can do is is what Saucedo did. Is as soon as you get the ball, you cannot put it on the floor. You have to know what's around you, especially in this situation. So, it's a ten point game now, twenty five point nine. Grable goes to the line to shoot his free throw, and Saucedo gets the rebound. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. But that's one of the things you don't catch and dribble. You got to catch triple threat, and then you go into your your move. So Armando goes to the line, shoot two. That foul was on Logan. That's his third. So Cito hits the first. Shooting the second, and that one's good. So you want to have a little bit of pressure to try and just slow the ball down. They kick it ahead quickly. Shot goes up. Grable gets the rebound out to Zeller for three. That one hits the front of the rim. Doesn't go. And off of the Eaton player's hands on the rebound. So it'll be Brush's ball. 12.9 seconds to go. Brush a 12-point lead. Sacido to inbound, full, going full court. He's going to throw the full court pass to Lopez. Lopez tracks it down, just throws it up at the basket to save it. Inda gets the rebound, brings it full court, kicks it out to Zeller on the right wing. That doesn't go. Martinez the rebound, and they're going to hold the ball until the game. So as a final, your brush beat digger, 73, Eaton Red, 61. If you're listening to 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Brush Bee Diggers postgame show is brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Farm and Home Center. They're your headquarters for all your home, farm, and ranch supplies from plumbing to feed with three locations to serve you, Sterling, Brush, and Fort Morgan. Joined by Coach Whipple. Uh, it's a good win tonight. Ended up 12-point win uh, against a tough Eaton team. Hasn't had the best of luck so far, but Coach, is a good win. Yeah, they, they were a scrappy bunch, and um, we worked hard, and it was just good to... To see my guys play four quarters of basketball tonight, and hopefully, you know, we can build on that. I'd like to see us shoot a little better from the outside and and steal some of the turnovers. You know, we've got to manage the ball and then making second chance shots and you know um, finishing our bunnies. You know, making our bunnies. So, well, with, with with watching the game tonight, it was a full game. It played all four quarters, like you said, and it was uh, you know the, the the turnovers were down. Um, as compared to Tuesday night. And, uh, you know, Tuesday night you guys went in with a 13-point lead at half. Tonight it was a 10-point lead. You guys maintained. You came out, hit the three right away. You started out each quarter very strong. Um, second quarter there was a little lull there in the middle, but then you finished strong. So the resilience of the guys really showed tonight. 
Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I thought they. I thought they played well. I mean, they followed the game plan, and we we played well. So, but you know, still some things to work on. You know, we'll have a um, tough one come Tuesday when we go when we go to Sterling. But you know, we're just gonna slow the we're just gonna slow the game down. Okay, you know, you know. You're not. We're not going to go there and try to be the racehorse. We're going to go down and slow the game down and play our game. Well, you do have a tough task, uh, Bodie Hume and, and the Sterling Tigers. Uh, there could be one of the better teams in the entire state at any level, and Bodie's definitely probably the best player across the board for the state. Um, but but that's always fun. That's always yes. a fun time to um, to really test yourself and. Um, you know, it's you know you go out and you play your game, and and um, you know expectations probably aren't aren't as high as they are against Eaton, but that's the time that guys usually step up and shine when they have uh, tougher competition. Yeah, but we're still going to play to win. I mean, I'm always going to go out and play to win. I'm not going to lay down for anybody. And the good thing about it, and what I'll tell my guys is, you know, we there's no pressure on us. We have nothing, we have nothing to lose. There's no pressure on us. So we go out and we have fun and we, we play basketball. Be aggressive and play basketball like we know how. Take care of the basketball, okay, and make, and make it competitive. And that's absolutely right. And, and, and the game tonight, just watching your players, did look like they were having fun. Yes. And when you're having fun, it's a lot easier to win. Yes, it is. And we played a little smarter tonight, okay. And like you said, turn over the tail of the tape and, and making shots. I mean, that's where we get. We get low to sleep and we get low and... We don't make shots, and then and teams crawl back in it. Well, you did a much better job, too, tonight uh, on, on the defensive end, getting back and stopping any kind of transition. Yeah, we did. And, you know, what I told them, if they're up top, if they're above the free throw line, just go ahead and get back, and then everybody else crashes the boards. But I thought, you know, we played balance. I liked the way the bigs played. I liked the way my guards played, handled the ball. And, you know, um, I'm proud of the guys tonight, so we'll we'll – chalk it up to a victory and save it for tonight and tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. we'll start getting ready for Sterling. Well coach good luck against Thank Sterling you. and uh, we look forward to, to listening to you and uh, we'll look we'll, we'll see you around here soon. Okay thank you guys. We're going to take a short break here and come back and, and recap uh, the game. You're listening to 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Well Welcome back to the uh, BHS post or BHS post game show. Um, we just want to do a little stat recap and, and uh, our, our reflections onto the game tonight. So Matt, if you have the stats, run down here. Yeah. So for Eaton, your leading score was Enda. All his points came in the in the second half, uh, and then you got uh, Grable with 11 as well, and a couple Heaton and Zeller with 10. Uh, for Brush, your leading score was. Uh, Ryan Dunker with 20, and then you had Guzman with a uh, 11, and Sacedo with nine. Uh, Turnover-wise, it was pretty close. Brush had 22 compared to Eaton's 24, and Brush out-rebounded uh, Eaton 37-32. Uh, uh, from the free throw line, Eaton went 10 or 20, and Brush went 12 or 21. And Brush was hitting uh, threes tonight. They had seven threes compared to three threes for Eaton. It was more of a complete game for the bee diggers here, and and uh, it was it was definitely a good way to rebound from uh, from their game Tuesday night. Uh, it was a tough loss there in Estes, and uh, it was it was it was a complete game offensively, defensively, and uh, you know inside game. Um, all three of the bigs uh, played well with uh, Gunnar Guzman, Jose Campa, and Eli Urich. All three of them played very well inside, and uh, were you know they were doing their job, and that's that's all you can ask for them. So um, you know we're we're, we're going to look forward. They they do play uh, Tuesday night, like Coach was saying, against Sterling. Um, it's always fun to play a team like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to uh, you have to bring your game, and you have to uh, you know you have to play up to their ability, and 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 it's it's, it's a lot of fun to do that. So, um, our next broadcast uh, here on 1010 KSIR will be Tuesday night with the Brush Girls versus the Sterling Girls here from uh, Brush High School, and 
the boys game will be on our sister station and um, we look forward to uh, to bring both of those games to you so the sound engineer and producer for B Digger Basketball is Rose Condes. For Matthew Gerald, I'm Greg Gatto. With the final score, B Digger 73, Eaton Red 61. You've been listening to Brush B Digger Basketball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.